Right, chicken jalfrezi, a bulk recipe I'm doing today. I've got one and a half kilos of chicken thighs, three tins of chopped tomatoes, uh, two red peppers and a green pepper chopped, two large onions chopped, 60 grams of butter, four tablespoonfuls of vegetable oil, three tablespoonfuls of chopped fresh ginger, oh that's the ginger, uh, three cloves of garlic, two teaspoonfuls of hot chilli powder, three teaspoonfuls of salt, and two tablespoons each of cumin, ground coriander and turmeric. So I'm going to start off by skinning the chicken thighs and chopping them up. I've also got fresh coriander. We're going to put some in the in the recipe and some for garnish. So to skin the chicken thighs, you just need to cut in certain places. skin sort of peels off in one piece. That's one of the cuts. And that's the other. So I'm going to follow the bone. We need to get as much meat off as we can. careful with your fingers. That's a nice bit of meat there at the end. So we'll cut that off. around the bone You can use chicken breast meat, it's much much easier, but it's also more expensive. And actually chicken thigh meat, I believe, is more tasty than chicken breast. So that's your chicken thigh. So you need to cut it into cubes. Any sinews that there are in there will sort of melt away in the cooking. So don't worry about that. What you don't want is bone. Or skin. So I shall carry on doing that until all the thighs are boned and skinned. Right, I've got the oil in a large wok. I'm going to stir in the garlic. the onions. I'm going to cook these gently for about two minutes. So 
So next I have in the Dutch chicken. The turmeric and the chili powder. And the salt. So give this a good old stir till the chicken's coated in the spices. So I'm going to cook this gently for about five minutes. While the chicken's cooking, I'm just going to blend these tomatoes to a smooth paste. ground coriander, the cumin, the ginger, the butter, tomatoes and the peppers so I'm going to give this a good old stir <coughs> I'm going to bring it to the boil and then I'm going to transfer it to that pan a large pan where I'm going to cook it for about 40 minutes until the chicken's tender. But first of all, I have to bring this to the boil. This should make about 12 to 14 portions. Then we can freeze some and eat some. So, that pan full of chicken um, has made 12 portions of curry. Each of these is two portions. So that's not bad, is it? For a couple of hours' work, we've got now 12 di potential dinners here. So what we want is some rice, some naan bread, or maybe some jacket wedges to serve it with. So there you go, chicken jalfrezi with the lovely coriander naan bread. Delicious. Can't wait to tuck into that. Bye. See you later.